Fights at all times. Fight fair, fight clean, fight hard. Touch him up. Let's go. Set up for five twos. Pena chooses to start off more aggressively. Yeah. Doesn't always work out in your favor, but let's see how it plays out. We got five rounds. Joey just taking his time. Nice shot to the liver by Pena. Pena is here taking advantage, like setting up his combinations, going in. Yeah, Pena's doing a lot of work right, early in this fight. And Hernandez seems to be perfectly happy just to answer back. See, Joey's just taking his time. He's looking for open. He's just figuring Pena out. It's odd to break him. It's, they're still working. It's early in the fight. Maybe that's what he's thinking. But generally, you don't break fighters when they're working. I think Joey will come a little bit more alive this round. And in a five round fight, you take that first round off, you, it's not a big of a deal as it is in like a three rounder. You have more time to pick the rounds up. And now you see Joey going for a little bit harder, hitting more knees, being a little bit more aggressive here. Looking for a dump is what he's doing. Joey just doing a good job of staying on him and controlling, the holding, controlling, his position controlling really well. hitting the knees. Every few seconds you see a good solid knee. Even the side knees he's throwing are hard. Going for that dump. And that's what he's been looking for right there, that good twist through. See, Pena comes in, Pena comes in with his hands, but he gets too close. He's in a boxing range for those hooks. Yep. Those. And then that's the prime time for Hernandez to just snatch him up and work in the clinch. And if Pena would stay a little bit farther out when he's throwing his punches, he wouldn't end up in the clinch so much. And he's not, he's not getting the good work and that he, Hernandez yeah, is in the clinch. No, he's, and he's losing the fight in the clinch. This is exactly what Hernandez wants to happen. Hernandez trying to turn his hips into him. There you go. 
if he can get Pena perpendicular, hips perpendicular to him, he can get that dump. Not a whole lot of action here. The referee really needs to break this up. Um, yep. There's not a whole lot of action going on in the clinch here. They're hitting a little bit of knees, but there's plenty of opportunity to stop this. Where I don't, he was breaking them up yeah. way early. Like, yeah, he was breaking them up way too early in round one. Now he's not breaking them up enough in round three. So the fighters need to get busy. Yep. And there's the break. Right. Very rarely in, in Muay Thai do you, do you allow fighters to sit for half the round in the clinch. Yeah, no, not in a non-working situation. Yeah. And so you saw there, Pena was staying a little longer with the shots and he connected with them. Yeah, and that's what Pena needs to stay on the outside because I don't think he's doing as well on the inside. No, he's definitely not doing as well on the inside. Joey's he's hitting the harder knees on the inside. Um, he's doing more work inside. But when Pena stays on the outside. <laughs> oh, Pena's just trying to and again, end it with that right out. And, and again, Pena got inside, started working by, but he just, Joey just snatched him up in the clinch. Again, Pena needs to stay longer on his handwork, and he'll connect these shots. And Joey knows he's behind, so he's really working hard now to pick it up. That's, where he, needs to That's right where, where he needs to be. Those are the ones that are going to win the fight for Pena. And Hernandez, if he's going to stay on the outside, he's got to get much more active. Yeah, Hernandez isn't doing nearly enough on the outside. It's gonna be a great time for the referee to break when they're just sitting there. Yep. And the ref breaks it. Needs to not chase his punches in. And they end up in that clinch again. Those punches in the body aren't doing much. Um, Pena would be better off Mark, hitting knees. Marking, marking points, but yeah, yeah. not much. It's More the than, fifth and final round. than um, Pena's hands are damaging Joey. So I personally, I, I have uh, Pena up also. If he can sit to the outside like he's been doing right here. If he can sit on the outside like he's starting to, yeah, he's coasting. Find a home for that that left hand of the body, trying to place it on the liver. And this is the fifth and final round. This is for a belt. Um, these fighters just need to go for it right here. This is the last round. Don't get sloppy, but go for it. And that's what it seems like Pena's trying to do a little bit more than Hernandez at this point. Hernandez seems content with just hanging on in the clinch. Um, not sure that's winning him the fight. Right. Pena doesn't seem to be too discontent with like hanging out either. Oh, that was a slip. That was a slip.
No. I got to pin you right now. Yeah. Just Hernandez hasn't been doing enough substantial work to really qualify. I mean, King has had every round. Hernandez. After five rounds, we have our winner. Presenting the WKA Northeast Regional Amateur Junior Middleweight title, President Brian Crenshaw. After the five rounds of action, we have our winner by unanimous decision. Representing Anderson's Martial Arts, Johnny Lowe, Pena.